Hello and welcome to the All Flyers. Every second, a Pratt & Whitney powered aircraft takes off or lands somewhere in the world. You know the name, but do you know the history of this iconic engine manufacturer? The story begins in 1887 when Frederick B. Rentschler was born in Hamilton, Ohio to German American parents. They owned the Republic Motor Car Company that built Republic cars from 1910 until 1916. They were also principals in the company Hooven Owens Rentschler. His brother, Gordon Rentschler, would become chairman of National City Bank. Frederick graduated from Princeton University in 1909 and worked in his family businesses as a molder and machinist. I thought that was odd. He graduated university to work in a factory as a technician. Maybe his father was teaching him to run the business from the ground up. When the US entered World War I in 1917, Frederick joined the United States Army. He was assigned to inspect his Spano Suiza aircraft engines manufactured under French license at the Wright Martin plant in New Brunswick, New Jersey. The armistice of November 11, 1918 ended the contract and caused the reorganization of Wright Martin. Rentschler left the Army convinced that future aircraft would require lighter weight engines with much greater power and higher reliability. His proposed design of an air-cooled engine flew in the face of conventional wisdom which held that heavier liquid-cooled engines would power the future of aviation. Rentschler became president of the Wright Aeronautical Corporation and pressed for research into his idea. Unable to convince the board of directors, largely composed of investment bankers with little aviation knowledge, he resigned in 1924 and supported by old friend and Wright chief engineer George J. Mead, he developed a proposal for a high-powered, air-cooled aircraft engine for the US Navy. Admiral William A. Moffat promised to approve the purchase of such an engine. Rentschler approached the Pratt & Whitney Machine Tool Company of Hartford, Connecticut with his idea. On July 23, 1925, they agreed to fund its development, creating the Pratt & Whitney Aircraft Company in which Rentschler and Mead had a controlling position. Pratt & Whitney Aircraft's first engine, completed on Christmas Eve 1925, was named the Wasp by his wife, Faye Belden Rentschler. The 425 horsepower Wasp engine easily passed its official qualification test in March 1926 and the Navy ordered 200 engines. The speed, climb performance and reliability that the engine offered revolutionized American aviation. Over the next 20 years, from the original Wasp design, the Pratt & Whitney Wasp series developed approaching 10 times the power of the 1925 engine. In 1929, Rentschler ended his association with Pratt & Whitney Machine Tool Company, but was allowed to keep the name Pratt & Whitney Aircraft Company. Rentschler, Voigt and William Boeing of the Boeing Company formed the United Aircraft and Transport Corporation that same year. United Aircraft completed the first coast-to-coast -coast passenger network in March of that year. In 1934, UATC was broken up and its manufacturing interests east of the Mississippi River became United Aircraft Corporation, headquartered in Hartford with Rentschler as president. In 1944, Pratt & Whitney began its gas turbine and jet propulsion initiative. In 1945, wartime production included more than 300,000 Pratt & Whitney engines touted by service members as dependable. Rentschler turned to developing jet engines after World War II. Pratt & Whitney produced the J57 jet engine in 1953. The engine was used to power the first B52 Stratofortress in 1954. In 1951, Rentschler was made an officer of the Legion d'Honneur for his contribution to the progress of aeronautical science. Apologies for the pronunciation. Rentschler remained as president of United Aircraft until his death in 1956. In 1958, the United States Air Force 
posthumously presented him with the Civilian Service Award for Exceptional Service as a pioneer in the development, research and manufacture of aircraft engine. He was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 1982. Pratt and Whitney continued to design and innovate more powerful, agile and reliable engines, becoming a leader in the aerospace industry. Today, Pratt & Whitney has more than 85,000 engines in service and approximately 17,000 customers worldwide. Rentschler created and manufactured many revolutionary aircraft engines, including those used in the aircraft of Charles Lindbergh, Amelia Earhart and James Doolittle. Thank you for watching. Fly safe.